Hi, I'm Vicky Virtue, writer in residence at Raffles Hotel and author of The Raffles Affair, a modern day whodunit set in Raffles Hotel, Singapore. Hence the smashed Singapore sling on the cover. We felt a Singapore sling was the perfect icon for a crime novel because there is a certain amount of deception behind the drink. Back in 1915, when the cocktail was created, it wasn't considered socially acceptable for women to drink alcohol in public. So, to get around these social restrictions, Raffles' rather enterprising barman at the time created a drink that looked like a fruit juice, but it was infused with gin and liqueurs. He then gave it a touch of pink to add a feminine flair and voila, the Singapore sling was born. Needless to say, it proved an instant hit. And I am sure that had all the sassy women in the Raffles affair been around in 1915, they would have approved of this little bit of deception. And so, to honour irreverent, rule-breaking women everywhere, the Singapore sling makes a brief appearance in the Raffles affair. I can't say that this is the exact moment when the sling got smashed, but it is a very pivotal moment in the story. The waiter had two Singapore slings, one sitting on a silver tray that he held in his left hand, and the other was in his right hand, suspended in midair with a thin slice of pineapple and a red maraschino cherry perched precariously on the side of the glass. His hand was frozen and grasped around the pink cocktail as he looked across the terrace at Peyton in unconcealed alarm. Of course, you're going to have to read the rest of the book to find out what happens next.